I wanted to do a video about the top five proofs of a young universe and just demonstrate that the universe is not 13.7 billion years old, like people have said, but that it's actually young and was created recently. And the first reason that we know this is because of short period comets. Now, if you're not sure what those are, they are balls of ice that are floating about in space right now, and they deteriorate in less than 10,000 years. And so short period comets are all over our galaxy, all over the solar system, and they're going about in an orbit and they are deteriorating over time. And if our solar system was 4.5 billion years old, those things would not even exist. They would have completely deteriorated by now. The second proof is simply the planet Pluto. Pluto is warm on the inside. Now, if Pluto was from 4.5 billion years ago, when it finally was created back then, it would be freezing cold on the inside. There's no way that something could just stay that warm for that long, for the course of 4.5 billion years. If you came to my house and saw a hot cup of coffee on the table, you would never assume that that cup of coffee was 4.5 billion years old. I'm sorry, it would have cooled off over the course of just 10 minutes. But people have no problem believing that things happen to stay warm for 4.5 billion years. It takes a lot of faith. The third reason is the planet Saturn. I mean, Saturn's rings are unstable. Saturn's rings are actually dispersing right now as we speak. And before long, those rings will be completely gone. Now, if Saturn, the planet, and the rings around it were 4.5 billion years old, those rings would have completely dispersed and deteriorated by now. But they're still there, which means that they were created recently, not billions of years ago. The fourth reason is simply stars. Now, a star will die one per 25 years per galaxy. And so, if the galaxy was less than 10,000 years old, we would predict to only find about 200 dead stars in our galaxy. And sure enough, that's what we find. We find less than 200 dead stars in the galaxy. If you look at other galaxies, you'll only find about 200 dead stars in each galaxy, which means that if evolution were true, and if the evolutionary time scale of billions of years was taking place, you would have hundreds of thousands of dead stars throughout the entire universe. The fact that you find only 200 dead stars per galaxy literally proves beyond any shadow of doubt that the galaxies, and our galaxy in particular, the Milky Way, is a young galaxy. Now the fifth and most powerful reason is actually the magnetic field of the Earth and other planets. See, magnetic fields are actually what keep our planets and keep the Earth in particular from being bombarded with space dust. If the magnetic field was too strong, we would die. If it's too weak, uh, we would die. It has to be just right in order to protect us from issues from outer space or sunlight, deadly radiation coming through. And so the Earth's magnetic field in particular is very important and it is vital to our survival. The half-life of the Earth's magnetic field is actually 1400 years. And so what that means is that every 1400 years, the Earth's magnetic field gets chopped in half. And so you can only lose so much before you've lost it all. And if the magnetic field gets too weak, like I said, the sun's rays will penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and kill everything on the Earth. With the half-life being only 1400 years, you take that back, uh, even 10,000 years. If you were to go beyond 10,000 years, the Earth's magnetic field would be so powerful that it would literally kill everything on Earth as well. So, no matter how the evolutionists or atheists want to play this game of millions and billions of years, it's not going to go their way. Because truly, the facts are on our side. Observation is on our side. Everything that we see in the solar system actually demonstrates that the Earth and the universe and the galaxies, the entire world is young and was created recently and not billions of years ago. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and comment down below. Make sure to give us a good rating because I want this content to get out to the masses and for people to understand that they were lied to by the public school system 
and that there is truth in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and his word bears witness with everything that we see around us happening in the world today, even right now. And so, I hope you all enjoyed this video. God bless.